Elon Musk says that most Americans don't want to work. Elon Musk, Mr. PayPal, Mr. Tesla, Mr. SpaceX, Mr. Solar City, a man who hires thousands upon thousands of employees. Now, for the longest time, a lot of people have been beating me up because I keep saying that Americans are lazy. Elon Musk just said the same thing that I have been saying for years. Americans don't want to go to work. And one of the things that I blame for this, because we're going to get into the second part of this, which is predicated on the first part of this, is the American work ethic is gone. And I'm going to tell you what happened. Two words, social media. Right now, there's a YouTuber who makes $100,000 a month and works at home, drives exotic cars, and eats fancy lunches and takes wonderful vacations. That is a real thing. And this YouTuber is 22 years old. That is a real thing. So when you put this on social media, it gets amplified and people get in their head that they can do the same thing. With little regard to the talent, the work, I'm gonna tell you, any successful YouTuber, someone that has a few hundred thousand subscribers, someone that has millions of subscribers, actually work. I actually work. If you've got a channel with a million subscribers and you throw up a video and you get two, 300,000 views, I guarantee you, you are, these people are working. They make it look easier than it is. But any successful YouTuber is putting in the time, the effort, and the work. So we have this amplification on social media. We have this concept that, hey, I can go on the internet, I can make a lot of money, and I don't have to work that hard. I don't have to work that hard. And that fallacy, that false narrative, is one of the things that are keeping people stuck. So Elon Musk, who a lot of you guys worship and love, has said the same thing that I've been seeing for years. A lot of Americans don't want to work. They want to do blow and spend money on hookers. I was watching a show called Ozark. And if you know, the little premise, the guy, the, the main character of the show launders money for a drug cartel. So this guy literally has millions of dollars of cash just literally sitting around. And he went into a partnership with this woman and he used one of her cabins to put money in the walls. Well, she found the money. She found some of the money. She found 300,000. What did she do? She put the money in her car. She took off and she started doing drugs. $300,000. She's hanging out. She's partying. She is so unproductive that she gets high and she wrecks her car and she gets arrested for driving under the influence with $300,000. That's a snapshot of what the average person would do if they suddenly came into a lot of money. They would blow it. They would sit on their ass and they wouldn't do shit with it. Now this goes to the second part of this. I was watching Dave Ramsey, and it was really interesting. It is estimated that between the Paycheck Protection Program, enhanced unemployment benefits, and the EDIO loan, that the fraud could be up to $500 billion. You had people because the government had no regulations. They had nothing. It was just like sign up and get a check. So 
This brought out a lot of scammers. And I remember years and years ago, I was talking to my banker and she said, we had a lot of people open up business checking accounts. So these people who don't want to work went ahead and defrauded the government out of $500 billion. And we wonder why society is decaying. We wonder why men and women have issues getting together. I'm about to get on my soapbox. I feel that the average man and the average woman is unsuitable and unfit for a relationship. You don't want to know why? Because they're extremely selfish. When you get in a relationship, that means that the person you're in the relationship, you put them before you put yourself. These new savages are unable to do that. And this is why they have all of these short term tertiary relationships because they have no ethics, they have no morals, they have no civility, which means that so many people conducted criminal activity to get this free money. The largest financial scam perpetrated ever was perpetrated by the average person in society trying to get over. I talked about this. <clears throat> I talked about this quite a bit. I said these people who were sitting at home and I, I, I actually said that if it was a position where they could get more money sitting at home on their asses versus working, they were going to sit at their home sit at home on their asses. And this is what happened. They're estimating the unemployment fraud to be at about 100 billion, 100 billion. This was people who could have been working, who chose not to, to get that free government money. This is why I feel that America is gonna be the second largest economy in the world in 10, 15 years. Because the American work ethic, that industrious, it doesn't exist like it used to. Here and there, there are a few people who embody these traits, hardworking, productive, um, they're doing their thing. But overall, the average American is a bum. The average American is a scallywag. The average American is not trying to build anything productive or substantial because here's the thing. When I was growing up, there was this expression. Locks were for honest people, which means that an honest person, oh, that's locked, they ain't gonna mess with it. But someone less scrupulous was like, oh, I'm gonna break that lock and see what's up in there. The American public at large is full of scammers. Like th this is one of the reasons I I'm not doing credit repair. Um, one of the things that's going on with credit repair is a lot of people are filing fake fraud identity theft with the FTC to get stuff off their credit report versus changing it. Th this is the thing, this, this is the thing. Because these people have demonstrably bad financial habits their credit's gonna go bad again because they're not learning from their lesson, nor do they wanna learn. Nor do they wanna learn. So I got a word for you to the nerd gang. If you are a productive, hardworking person that's trying to build something, you have less competition than you've ever had in history before less competition than you've ever had before. Right now, the average person is a bum, is a savage, is a scallywag. These are not people who are competing with you. These are people who are not trying to do anything with their life. These are opportunists. And Elon Musk has said it. Elon Musk has went on record, went on record. And he has backed up what I've been seeing for years. So if you want to start a business, you want to um, 
become a participant in the industrial industry, building a company, building an LLC, building a corporation. At this time in history, you have less competition than you've ever had in your life. Because these people are savages. They're bums. They're criminals. These are the people who are part of these stats. These are the people who are responsible for the dramatic increase in domestic abuse. These are the people who are responsible for the dramatic increase in murder. And on the darker side, these are the people who are killing themselves. The suicide rate has spiked because these people don't see no way out. These are the people who have inflated the drug addiction roles. These are the people who are addicted to drugs. These are the people who can't keep nothing in their life. I got this message and it was real interesting. I got this message from someone, a woman, who was like, contacted me talking about she needed some help that um, she was being evicted and she needed some money for a hotel room. And I completely and swiftly ignored that message. You wanna know why? Because if I helped her out, she would have been like that little stray cat at the back of my door every day, meow, meow, meow. And also, she is seeking short-term solutions to a long-term problem. You went from living in a house to moving into a hotel with your kids. This is America. This is America. <clears throat> this is one of the transitional. This is part of the global reset. Right now, we have so many people who are aimless, who are shifty, who can't be dependent. Once again, I did the video. Those who can't trust can't be trusted. I was watching YouTube and there was this girl, um, she's a comedian, and she was talking about, she was mad that all of her heroes, Meg the Stallion, Cardi B, she said, they teaching us how to ride this dick, how to rob a dude for his drugs and all this other stuff. And all, of the, all our heroes are in love and rich. It's true. See, the average person doesn't have enough intellect to understand when they're being played and they're going off into this game. Like once again, this, this global reset it's going to be devastating and it's going to create new roles of generational poverty. There are kids who are not born yet who will grow up poor because the, the, it's been cast already. Because once again, Elon Musk agrees with me. And I know over the years, a lot of you have pushed back. I'm working as hard as I can. Let me tell you something until you have worked 12, 15 hours a day, seven days a week, you're not working as hard as you can. Until you've done that for a few years, you're not even close to working as hard as you can. You have people, like I did a video, this Amazon driver who quit his Amazon delivery job in the middle of his shift because he had to work too hard. This is America. This is America. This is why we're gonna fall from the greatest country in the, in the world to second place after China in about 10 to 15 years. Unless the productive, the hardworking, go ahead and do so much to keep that from happening. But I feel that that's the trajectory that we're on because everybody wants to be a social media star. Everyone wants to sit at home and do YouTube videos. And I'm about to say something that's gonna be a little dismissive. The average person doesn't have enough talent to do YouTube. I have seen people put up videos 
and within 30 seconds, I was <laughs> snooze fest. These people don't have enough talent. They don't know how to cultivate an audience. They don't know how to build anything. It's talent. This is why the University of Alabama keeps winning national championships because they get teams full of five-star recruits. They have people sitting on the bench that will start somewhere else. Talent. You can want, you can have the right mindset, you can work as hard as you can, but there's gonna be people better than you. Like these young people who are 20 some years old with these large YouTube channels, these large TikTok channels, these large Instagram accounts who are crushing it while you're sitting there with your nose pressed against the window like, how can I get in? How can I get in? So I think this global reset is gonna be devastating. It's going to be simply devastating. It's going to be crushing because it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way at all. But the average American is lazy. Like I said, I've done videos like the Amazon driver. I mean, if this generation was the generation of the 1920s, America would have never became great. I was just sitting around, because I study people. I watch, I watch certain things. And I look at people and I'm just sitting there like, it is crazy. It is crazy. But let me know your thoughts and opinions on this commentary, and I will see you guys in the next one.